Now, it was less than 12 months ago that Labor Party power brokers in Brisbane decided that Anastasia Palaszczuk could not win this election. She had for so long been the star attraction for Queensland's Labor Party, but support had gone cold. So those power brokers turned their attention to the Deputy Premier, Stephen Miles. And he's had a heck of a task to try and turn those negative polls around. And recently, here in Cairns, I spent the day with him. The Premier and Tourism Minister doing it old school, door knocking in Cairns. I mean, the only thing is the issue is just still the, the youth crime, yeah. crime in general. That's, you know, otherwise it'd be a beautiful place, you know. Yeah. Each door is a plea for a vote. And at this stage, every one of them is crucial. Premier, the polls say one thing. What are the punters saying? Oh, look, I get a really good response when I'm out talking to people. Stephen Miles is in the fight of his life, becoming Premier less than a year ago, after poor polling forced Anastasia Palaszczuk from the job. I have given everything, but now is the time for me to find out what else life has to offer. The change hasn't moved the needle. What I've tried to do is to present a very fresh and new government over the last 10 months. I think Queenslanders have seen that and uh, that's what they'll be choosing between my, uh, my government and the real lack of plans we've seen from the LNP. Crime is up. Ambulance ramping is up. Debt is way up. Why should you be given another chance? Well, first of all, that's not correct. Crime is down this year since we introduced our community This year safety. though, but on, on the whole, it's so we, up. So, I, so since I took over and introduced a new community safety plan, crime is down. Stephen Miles grew up in the outskirts of Brisbane. A proud union man, he came into government during the demolition of Campbell Newman in 2015 and had a fast rise to the top. Environment Minister, Health Minister during COVID, then the state's 40th Premier. You were appointed by the union movement isn't, isn't that <laughs> you on, were, mate. Gary Bullock? No. He, he had to sign off on that. I was that. appointed by the caucus. He you had, know that. Gary Bullock had to sign off that. The question remains, <laughs> isn't that emblematic of what's wrong with Queensland now, that unions run the state? No, I was supported by the Labor caucus. I was grateful for their support. Uh, and uh, I, I answered a Queenslanders. And to be you know, yes, unions are important voices. They represent tens of thousands of people. But I've always worked really hard to have strong relationships with uh, business, with NGOs, uh, right, across, right across the board, whether that was when I was the Environment Minister, the Health Minister, or now as the Premier. You're not getting the Premier, though, without Gary Bullock's approval. I was grateful for the support of many, many people. <laughs> he ticked and off he's on one it. of he them. He ticked off on it, right? He, uh, he's, he, he's one of my supporters, but there were many. Right. Cost of living is front and centre for Queensland voters, as is crime, an issue that's literally confronted miles on the streets. Do you know I'm a victim? Yes. OK, what yes. happened to me? Tell me. Tell me. Well, you should know. You fought so long to keep detention as a last resort, then only recently changed tact. Was this to blunt an effective LNP attack line? No, that was a decision that I made uh, after consulting with victims of crime, after hearing from uh, police and others. Criticism doesn't stop there. From laughing away serious matters... The absence of any reference to youth crime in your speech to the Queensland Media Club would have been noted. <laughs> um, Does the nickname Giggles bother you? Uh, I, it's been around a long time now, and uh, so I've learnt, to, I've learnt to live with it, you know. Of all the things said about me, it's not the worst. To his political messaging on social media. You're known as the TikTok guy. Am I? Playing up the daggy dag routine on TikTok. <laughs> some people call it cringe, obviously some people like it. Are you comfortable with it? Yeah, look, I think um, there's lots of people... You know, lots of people get their news from Sky News, right? And so that's why I'm talking to you. Lots of people get their information from social media, from Facebook or Instagram or TikTok. But through it all is a drive to do better for the state and its people. Why are you a politician? Why, why do you do it? I love it. And there are... I can't think of many ways, many other jobs where you could get to make the kind of contribution that I get to make across such a wide range of of issues. You know, I, you know I, I grew up in the outer suburbs of, of Brisbane, at Petrie. I, don't, I never really thought a kid from Petrie could grow up to be the state's premier. He just hopes it stays that way. Peter Stefanovic, Sky News.